Hello, welcome to Life from Pig Row, new haircut. Uh, today we're looking at getting free plants, and the free plants we're really going to target today are strawberries, and it is that time of year, folks. Straight through, probably to the end of September, you probably can do this. Obviously, I want to show you how to now. So all you need is parasecators, a trowel, and some pots. So let's go and have a look at it. So here we are in the strawberry patch, and it's a new strawberry patch. But the great thing about this strawberry patch, even though it's new, is that, I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to dig one up so it's going to be easier. It's sending out what we call runners, and I'll show you what a runner is now. So here we are, and if you can see that now, can you see that? Let's bring it a bit closer, there we go. So there we are, it's a strawberry that's sending out a long whip like plant like that can you see that there we go and it's got tiny roots on it what we're going to do now is we're going to take these and pop them on we're going to do it in a way that's not going to cost you any money whatsoever so here's my plant it's already tried to root itself all i'm going to do is i'm going to take a pot and this pot hasn't cost me anything it's come from the garden center i've had it years yes people are throwing away their plastic but frankly don't throw it away until you've used it. And all I'm going to do now is to save myself a lot of heartache is I'm going to use some soil from the garden. I'm going to pop that in like so. I'm going to top it up. Again. There we go, it's topped up. And what I'm going to do though, you might think that this is a bit strange. I'm going to half bury it where it was and the reason for that is simple it means over winter it'll send out loads of roots it'll send out loads of roots down into the pot and in spring i can just do this whoop, lift it out like so and i'll have myself a little plant and i can cut off all the runners now i've got other runners going on here we are there's another plant here now normally I would advise just cutting that off so it would just concentrate on that. Well, that's already put roots down. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put another pot there next to it. Look at that, like so, and plant that in. Now, sometimes you have to peg these down and you can peg them down by just using a little bit of wire or even a garden peg, as in a clothes peg. So I'm just going to carry on and you're going to watch me do it. Phew interesting music. So there you are, I've pegged down uh, five plants, which by the way, I've got six plants in this bed. So I think five is good enough. Uh, and they're all tending to be the first plant out from the runner. You'll notice for the eagle eyed amongst you, I didn't use any pegs. And the great thing about doing it this time of year is that a lot of them already have tried to root into the bed. So all you're doing is really repotting them on and then plunging that pot back into the ground. So come spring, snip these away from the parent plants. In fact, it'll probably be even earlier than that. I reckon by the end of October, these will all have rooted and they could be cut off and I will just leave them there, sunk in the bed, they'll be happy, protected. And then in spring, I can take them to a completely new bed. That's the fantastic thing about strawberries. If you get a variety that you like, you can have more and more and more for free. Now, you have to do this for one simple reason. Strawberries, if left in the same place more than three years, tend to attract pests or past. What are you? <laughs> the past pest. Uh, they tend to attract pests and those pests can be a real problem. 
because they build up it's just like you with your crop rotation strawberries are the same you rotate your strawberries every three years that's the great thing about that you can grow them in hanging baskets you can grow them in a border you can grow them in pots it's up to you where you grow them and move them each time and it frees up a bed for something else so until next time, it's goodbye from me, Andrew at Life on Pig Row. Don't forget, like and subscribe, because every time you subscribe, you get us one step closer for us to be able to monetize or get the ad revenue that are on all our videos. And that's a great thing, because that money then goes into making more films, which means we get more content, and it's all about you as a grower. So, until next time, with the new haircut, bye-bye.